Hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is having a cracking week and I just want to apologise that there hasn't been an upload in a couple of weeks. Uh, our household has just been so busy um, alongside getting back to normal a little bit and apart from the kids going back to school it's just been mega busy. The wife summoned me to do loads of decorating and it's just been non-stop and I just haven't had time to do much else unfortunately. I've kind of gone off the radar a little bit but we're, we're all happy and healthy and I am back with another video and we are going to be looking at this which is a stunning silver proof coin from the Royal Mint. Now I don't know if anyone is having the same sort of look but over the past few weeks on eBay I've been picking these coins up for absolute pennies. Now bear in mind they are silver proofs and I've got a backlog of, of about seven or eight to uh, film and review so when I say pennies, uh, with postage I paid ten ninety five for this and it is an absolute stunner along with the uh, the D-Day 50p that I reviewed about a month ago they've, they've just been so cheap, I can't believe how cheap I've been getting these for whether that is the going price for these, I'm not quite sure but I'll do a bit more research into it so yeah, let's have a look at the coins, so bear in mind ten ninety five I paid for this and it is an absolute stunner and here it is Okay, so it is a 1988 silver proof one pound coin. The tiny little pamphlet that it came with, in really good condition. And we have got a bit of information inside. Now bear in mind these are the old round pounds. So following the regional designs which appeared on one pound coins from 1984 to 1987, the 1988 one pound coin features a new reverse design representing the United Kingdom as a whole. So again, I'll open that and if you want to pause the video and have a quick read, please feel free to do so. Okay, and let's have a look at the coin itself. Let's see if we can get this out. What I'll do, I'll just show you the box first. So again, the box is in really good condition as well. And I got this for under 11 pounds. And it is an absolute stunner. Let's, let's grab this out. Oops. And there we have it, an absolute corker, or as I would say, an absolute cracker. And there we are. The Queen has got a lovely frost into it still, and there's not a lot of toning to this at all. So there we are, 1988. And again, you can tell I've been decorating because I've still got loads of gloss all over my hands. Elizabeth II. There we are, what a cracker. Now before this just gets steamed up a little bit too much, let's crack her open. Now I'm not going to do what I did with my 50p coin and drop this one. So let's take this off and you'll see. Look at that, what a stunning, stunning condition. For its age, a little bit of dust I think. Just look at that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in its case like that, turn it round, let's take the case off. Just look at that. I was really impressed with this, I can't believe I got this for £11 basically. It's just an absolute stunner. Fantastic quality, whoever had this has really looked after it. Now before I do drop it I'm going to put this back on. There we go. Now yeah, please let me know in the comments below if, if you think I've got a good buy. £11 for a 1988 silver proof coin, is that good? But I'm really happy with it. And I've got about 7 or 8 of these coins to come. I think I've bought about 3 or 4 more of the old round pounds. I've got a couple of 50p coins to come. And I've even bought some silver proof 5p coins and and 20 pence pieces that are, I've just got so cheap. I managed to pick up one silver proof 5p coin for about three and a half quid, about £3.50 altogether. So that's going to be an interesting video. I don't think I've ever seen anyone review a silver proof 5p coin. And there we have it. Let's put you back in there before I drop you. What an absolute cracker, really cool. 
and obviously due to this the silver bug really is kicking in now I'm I'm a bit obsessive with my co collecting where I do kind of have to have like all of one or and, and things like that so like in terms of like the new silver proofs that are coming out I tend not to steer towards that sort of territory because there'd be such a massive backlog and it would cost me thousands and thousands and thousands to catch up so um, I'm starting to collect these old old silver proof coins they're, they're affordable there's plenty out there and it's just so much fun grabbing a bargain I can't believe these old silver proof coins are going for so cheap compared to new releases it's, it's crazy really but if you are you know new, new to collecting or you do like a bargain you know head over to eBay the Facebook groups uh, there's plenty of bargains out there and at the moment I am I am liking eBay I am careful when I'm on there I'm looking out for good feedback and um, trusted sellers etc so I am a bit responsible when I'm spending money on eBay I obviously buy and sell on there quite a lot as well so yeah it's, it's things to look out for just obviously be vigilant when you're on eBay some people do ask for silly prices but when you're bidding um, on auction only items you've, you've, you've got a bit more guarantee that the item is genuine so there we have it my 1988 silver proof one pound coin from the Royal Mint and that's it for another video all I can say really is stay tuned because once I get my schedule back in order and get my head back into recording there'll be lots more videos like this I do love buying and reviewing these old silver proof coins and uh, of course if you did like this video please leave me a like and of course if you want to leave me a comment that would be absolutely fantastic I do love replying to uh, all of your comments and of course um, if you want to subscribe to the channel that would be really appreciated and if you press that notification bell you'll always be notified when I upload new videos like this and all that's left for me to say now is uh, thank you so much for watching and always remember there's always two sides to every coin if you take the time to look bye for now